Well, rather unbelievably, we are on the verge of promotion to League One. We need just one point to progress into League One and one victory to win League Two. It's been an incredible journey. And can we get to League One? Just two promotions away from the Premier League. Let's find out. Hello, how's it going? Welcome back to some more Football Manager 2024 and another part of non-league to Champions League with Sad Shields. Today we are back with uh, two matches, one of which we need to win. And uh, basically we're playing Shrewsbury and uh, Northampton Town in this last episode of League Two, uh, we've got so many injuries, it is unreal. Um, it's it, it's crazy. I mean, you can see some of them down here, and most of them are for months. That's what you can't see. It's, it's just been absolutely crazy. Uh, since you were last with me, of course, with that wonderful 4-0 victory over Swindon Town, we then beat Gillingham 3-1. Ethan Wheatley with a terrific hat-trick there. We then beat Morecambe uh, 3-0. Ethan Wheatley, Motley Henry and Charlie Kendall scoring in that one. We then lost 2-0 to Crawley Town. Terrific uh, result for Crawley Town, but a really poor performance from us before we beat uh, Newport County 5-2 in the most recent match. Tom Ince, Joe Gomez, Dylan Motley Henry with two and Cameron Hargreaves on the score sheet, meaning that with... Just two games to go. We are top of the table. We're one point clear of Port Vale in second place. Gillingham, who uh, looked like title contenders last time as well as Swindon, they're in sixth and seventh now. Port Vale have come out of nowhere and uh, are now title contenders. Um, Exeter City have been there or thereabouts uh, the whole season. I mean, if we have a look at the, the journey of this top seven, uh, maybe not with them all at the same time. You can see we've sort of been the, the top of the table team um, for the last few weeks. It would be unlucky for us to, to go down now. Exeter have been there or thereabouts the whole season. Bradford have been uh, down and then up. Uh, AFC Wimbledon were the early leaders. They're still knocking around but aren't going to win the title. Gillingham look like they might nick it. And obviously Swindon were very, very good for long periods of time. It, it's just been pretty crazy. Of course, walking had a, a great run but they've dropped out of the reckoning now. It's 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 just gone bonkers. It really has. Uh, but the nuts and bolts of it are um, one point will get us uh, promotion today. Um, presumably, uh, it, it all really depends on Bradford City's result, but we should get promoted. Uh, well, no, sorry, one one point will get us promoted because Exeter won't be able to, to, to get above us then. Um and well, a victory would would any in in any of the matches would win us the title. So it's it's crazy. But as I say, we have got a long list of injuries. Uh, James Milner, uh, he broke his foot uh, in the first game back from oh, well, second game back from his return. I think um, he's out for two to three months, which is uh, ridiculous. Ethan Wheatley. Um, Broke his lower leg. Um, he's he, he's been out for the last uh, few weeks. Uh, Jack Colback, he's out for the rest of the season, two to five weeks, and, and he's retiring. Charlie Kendall just got injured, our backup striker. He's out for three weeks now. Um, and uh, Mully's injured as well. He's uh, broken his lower leg. He's out for six months. So it's it's been... Absolutely crazy. Um, it was a twisted ankle for, for Ethan Wheatley. Not quite the the, um, the broken leg that, that I thought it was. That was indeed Mully. But uh, we've had a turn to, to Jao Gomez to lead the line, who, of course, is our Portuguese uh, young player. He came through the youth system here. Uh, was out on loan in Portugal last season. He's come in and he's done all right, to be fair. Uh, might well earn himself a, a new contract for next season uh, based on this. But 
yeah, it, it's been pretty crazy. I mean, we'll have a quick look at squad performances. Top goal scorer is, of course, Ethan Wheatley, but he will miss out on the golden boot because he's he's not playing. He can't add to that all. Um, 13 goals for, for Kuya, 12 for uh, Motley Henry, and uh, 10 for Ince. I mean, Ince has been immense since he came in in January. He's almost single-handedly uh, led us to promotion here. Uh, 7 each for Mully and Kendall. Top assists is 12 for Motley Henry, 10 for Jack Whitaker, 9 each for for Mully, Lafudu and Kuya. And top average rating is Tom Ince with a 7.33. Kuya not too far behind. So, uh, it is Judgment Day. Can we go up? That's the question. Let's find out. This is the team that we're putting out there today. Miles Boney will start and go with Lafudu, Hughes, Fieldson and Leek in defence. Whitaker and Hargreaves start in the midfield uh, behind Thomas Ince. Molly Henry and Kuya will start wide of Jao Gomez leading the line up top. So here we go then. Let's get into it. Um, as I say, we're, we're, we're down to bare bones in terms of who, who we've got, but... Um, Let's go and get crown champions. If we win tonight, we are champions. If we win the match against Northampton, we are champions. There's, there's, there's no two ways about it. We've just got to give it our all now um, and see what we can do. It's uh, it's it's going to be... It's going to be interesting. Obviously, Shrewsbury are mid-table. They should be a team that we beat, but in these situations, we know it's gone dramatic the last two seasons. It was dramatic in the playoffs last season, um, and it was, certainly was dramatic in the first season in a situation very similar to this, where we very nearly bottled the league title. Oh, it's 1-0 Shrewsbury, and that's almost came out of nothing. We're going to demand more straight away from the boys because 13 minutes into the match, we should not be behind. That is disappointing. Very, very disappointing. Whelan finds Parker. Now he has uh, Ruffles. Ruffles on the ball. He finds uh, right. He has right. Oh, and that's a good ball to Fieldson. He has Gomez. Gomez now finds Whitaker. Now here's Lafudu. Lafudu on the right hand side. Can we instantly get back into it? Hargreaves finds in, finds Gomez, and he equalizes, but he is offside. Unfortunately, the flag goes up, and he is uh, in an offside position, but he can finish, and that's that's good to see. Let's see here. Yeah, he was offside, about a yard, a yard off. That's a shame. And maybe the first sign that maybe it's not meant to be. And that'll put a lot of pressure on us against Northampton. And remember, we still need a point to, to actually be promoted. He has a Jack Whittaker with a chance now. Gets it back to Lafudu. It's over the bar. He nearly continued the season how he started it with a wonderful goal there. As Bradford City take the lead. They've gone to 84 points now. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I'm going to encourage the boys. It's uh, It would be an absolute disgrace, really, if we lost this match. But it would just sum up this season. Oh, my God, it was nearly 2-0 there. This season has just been so topsy-turvy. We obviously had moments in this season where we thought... Is this team finished? Have we gone too far with uh, us giving chances to certain players? But, you know, we've had an awesome second half of the season. Other teams around us have crumbled. And and we, we're, we're still there. Right. Uh, you've been terrible so far. Sort it out. That's what we want to say to them. We're going to go attacking as well. And we're going to encourage the boys. Here's right. Finds Hills. And it always makes you nervous when a highlight starts with them in possession of the ball, but hopefully we can win it back here. Here's Hills. Well, I thought he was going to go over the top there, but he doesn't. It blocks him. And now here's Richards. Richards with a chance and poked wide in the end. We might have to think about some substitutions. We have got reasonably good players on the bench, but we've had... Um, Deli Ali return into the fold. He's not played in the second half of the season. He's going to be released in the summer. But 
th- this is the extent to which we're, we're having to change up the team. Right, uh, Kuyar's not playing very well, so Jed Abbey's going to come on. We're going to bring Ethan Moore on, um, and Tommy Watson is going to come up up top. Uh, Robert Briggs is going to come into the middle. We're making a cap quad here, and we're going to go very attacking because we need to turn this around now, and hopefully the four fresh faces up top will... We'll just give us a little bit of impetus here, because even a even a point, we'll take it. We'll we'll take being guaranteed promotion. Here's Ruffles finds right. Oh, good interception from Ethan Moore, who, to be fair to him, hasn't had a fair shot at, in uh, in our team. Here's Robert Briggs now. Good ball over the top to Ethan Moore. This is a great chance to prove why he should have been playing. And Jed Abbey puts it into the back of the net, and with twenty minutes to go. We are just one goal away from the league title. It's amazing how it can change. And it was Robert Briggs who hasn't had much of a chance in the second half of the season because of the uh, impact of Tom Ince. But there we go. Ethan Moore with the assist. Robert Briggs started it all. And Jed Abbey sticks it into the back of the net. And it's now South Shields 1, Shrewsbury Town 1. 10 minutes to go. Can we get the goal that will take us to the league title? Can we do it? That's surely not Juan Mata, is it? Surely not. Here's Leek, finds Fieldson. Fieldson now forward. Moore finds Lafuru. This could be our chance. Ethan Moore on the ball, on this right-hand side. This is an excellent run from him, to be fair. Moore... Gets it back to Hargreaves. Now Whitaker. Here's Robert Briggs. Finds Hargreaves. Back to Hughes. Is this going to be our moment? Whitaker finds Lafudu. Is he going to be the man? It's Ethan Moore with the shot. Ho ho! Ethan Moore, the man who has not had a chance to show what he can do, has come on. He's got an assist. And now he's stuck it into the top left corner. And we are currently on track to become league champions. Ethan Moore puts it into the back of the net. And that is what you were talking about. That was brilliant. And that might be about that. We've got four minutes of added time to hang on here. Can we go and put the cherry on the top of the icing, on top of the cake? Here's Lafudu. Here we go. Lafudu still going, whips it in. Jed Abbey's there. And it seems those uh, substitutes in the cap quad made the difference, but it's not over yet because he has Reno Solskjaer. He has Crankshaw. It's off the post. Oh, my God, that was close. That's surely the chance over, though, isn't it? Oh, my God, I thought that was going to be a penal, Jeff. It's not going to be. It's into the middle again. It's headed away. And that's out for a throw-in. We're quite happy with that, right? We're going to go very defensive here. The co the highlight continues. We have got two and a half minutes remaining. Borny's coming out and he's punched it away. That is awesome goalkeeping from Miles Borny. And we've got 20 seconds to hang on here. And it is full time. And there it is. Come on. Come on, South Shields. Oh, that was intense. We don't like to make it easy for ourselves, but we have won the League 2 title. We've won promotion to Skybet League 1, and we are now just two promotions away from the Premier League. Oh, my God, we are doing amazing stuff. And it's Miles Boney that lifts it high. Absolutely brilliant for the guy who has been with us all the way. Motley Henry playing today, Jed Abbey playing today, Sir Robert Briggs, so many players that are defining South Shields history. And we can go, and we can go back to the first cloud arena, we can go back to Mariners Park, and we can show off this trophy and celebrate promotion in style. That was special. That was fantastic from every single player that came on in that second half. They changed the game. And we are champions. We are the champions. Absolutely amazing. Uh, they've set initial budgets for next season, so it's going to be fairly similar. 
um, which is good news, you know, slightly uh, higher wage budget, up to £48,000 per week. Um, but we are releasing a hell of a lot of players in the summer. Um, and there you go. Delight was on the faces of South Shields uh, as Joe Hannard and his team lifted the Skybet League 2. They said, uh, I was the prime reason for the team's success. The border ecstatic. Uh, Inns praises Hannard following title win. Very, very good. I mean, I'm hoping Tom Ince has us as uh, favoured personnel now. Yes, he does. We're not quite on level terms with his father, Paul, but uh, he does like us. Um, and I tell you what, Ethan Moore, what a player. And, I mean, he came in for free last season, barely played. That's his first game, full stop this year, and he's put in a 9.0. I think he deserves one more chance to to show us why he should be staying next season. Because, actually, you know, he's got a bit of potential about him. It says potentially National League standard, but on that evidence, he looked pretty good, didn't he? We'll see, anyway. Um, but we are crown champions, it does mean that our last match against Northampton is a bit of a dead rubber, but we will play it anyway and uh, we'll maybe try out some different players, give them a go and see if we can end the season with a bang. Okay, just a couple of changes for the match then. Uh, we've gone with Ethan Moore up top and Joe Gomez moving out left. And we'll see how that works out. Obviously, Kuyar drops to the bench. Uh, didn't want to drop Motley Henry. I just think it's quite nice that he's in there. Um, celebrating promotion with the likes of John Lafudu as well. How could I forget John? Right, let's get into it. We can go into this with very little pressure on. It would be lovely to go out there and finish off the season in um, a good fashion. Obviously, football manager very rarely lets you do that. It, it usually let, makes them take a little bit of a dip in performance levels. Oh, we had a guard of honour there. Oh, I would have, I would have loved to have um, seen that, actually. That's really annoying. Can I... Is there any way to go back to that? Um, come on. No, I don't think so. That's really annoying. Oh, that looked really good. Never mind. Never mind. Um... Yeah, it is what it is. Um, hopefully we'll see that in a future season. But, yeah, they were going to give us a guard of honour, which, uh, which is awesome. It's awesome to see that in the game. I don't think I've ever had that before, which is why I was just skipping it, because it's uh, usually what happens. Anyway, Northampton have just scored. That happens. There you go. Right, I'm going to go attacking now. I'm going to encourage the boys. Come on. Get going now. What did I say to you? Football manager doesn't let you have romantic endings. He has Whitaker. Finds Hargreaves to Lufudu. He has uh, Jake Leak now. Loses it, but Ince gets it back. And he has Joe Gomez. It was a bit of a heavy touch there. Gomez still going... He has uh, Leak, finds Gomez again. Gomez back to, to Hargreaves, finds Ince. Ince on the ball. And now there's Ethan Moore and he has put it in. I tell you what, Ethan Moore might well have earned himself a new contract because that is finishing of the highest order. And it was Hargreaves to Ince. Ince then found Whittaker. Whittaker with a lovely ball through and Ethan... Uh, Mua puts it into the back of the net and it's one all it's one all and even just to keep him around next season as a little bit of a backup option it might might not be the worst idea because he's going to be fairly cheap here's uh, Gomez finds Fieldson now he has Joe Gomez still going Gomez still going oh I should have squared it really but he's one to earn a contract himself. Here's Hargreaves. Hargreaves on the ball, whips it in, and it's Tom Ince. Finds Whitaker. Here's Lafudu. Lafudu back to Motley Henry. That was beautiful football. Motley Henry still going, and it is a penalty, Jeff. Wow. Well, I feel like that's harsh. It's going to be Tom Ince that steps up and puts it into the back of the net, hopefully. Yes, he does. Beautiful penalty, and it's now 2 1. Awesome. 
That's what we like to see. Very, very good penalty. 11th goal of the season now for Thomas Ince. Yeah, he stuck that beautifully in the corner, expertly in the corner, some would say. And that's going to put us up to 89 points. Oh, sorry, 91 points at the end of this season, which is uh, very nice. I said we'd need about 90 points to get promoted, and, and it's certainly worked out that way. Um, AFC Wimbledon, Exeter, they're up there as well. But it'll be nice to, to get our business done, um, our promotion in the bag, and, and also have a league title to go along with it. Fieldson into Lafudu. Lafudu's still going here. Lafudu. No, not not quite. Here's uh, Odomeo. Now, Morgan, excellent tackle from Hargreaves. And here's Lintett. Yeah, here's Leek. And so I think some players, this could be the last time that we see them. To be quite honest, I think that the step up to League One is a, is a big one. And we're going to have to... Make sure that we are ready for it. Um, and I think it is going to be probably the, the biggest turnover of players yet. You know, um, I'm still willing to give the likes of John Lafudu, Miles Borney a chance um, in the, the, the division above. Um, but, you know, your likes of Hargreaves, who've seen us through since National League. Maybe not. I don't. I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know how it's going to go in the the transfer special tomorrow. Um, we'll obviously have a little preview of of what we're thinking um, at the end of the episode, but it could be it could be a crazy crazy summer transfer window. We're going to have to rely on free transfers again. That is the what the one limiting factor for us really is that we're constantly you know looking to delve into the free agent market which really limits you to, to older experienced players or brand new players that are unproven that there's no real middle ground with it um hopefully now we're up to league one we might be able to get even better standard of players you know we've been able to get james milner recently i think that was an excellent sign and for us and and you know having his experience at the club is is going to really help next season um as long as he stops getting long injuries that would be amazing i don't mind him getting injured now and again but he keeps getting four month injuries um which means he's not playing and and that's a shame uh but anyway we've got a corner kick here ins into the middle it's headed over the bar by fieldson i'd love to try and get him in on a permanent deal he, he's been one of the difference makers in the second half of the year. Uh, Joe Gomez is going to come off. Jed Abbey's going to come on. Uh, we're going to put Kuyar on the right-hand side. Leek's going to come off for Brody Hughes. And Nalo's going to go there. And we'll give Sir Robert Briggs a little run out in midfield for... Realistically, what could be his, his final performance. He might end up retiring or something crazy like that. Um, I mean, obviously, we, we want to do the thing where we want it to... Oh, for God's sake. We want to get a player um, to the Premier League that played for us in the National League North. And there's still a, a few candidates out there. John Lafudu's there. Um, Miles Borney, of course. Um, Robert Briggs is still about. Motley Henry. You know, the, I think those are the, the big candidates, really. Jed Abbey still going. And here is Jed Abbey. Speaking of him, here's Hargreaves. Finds Sir Robert Briggs now. Robert Briggs! Oh, and that's why he will hopefully still be around next season because no matter what level he is at, that is unstoppable. And I really want to see him in the Premier League. I just want to see him do a play 90 minutes in the, in the Premier League and, and dictate the play. That would be absolutely awesome. Excellent goal. Three all now. And, uh, well, can we go and win it? It's been a bit of an intense end to the season. More intense than we would have liked. Here's Kuyar, and that's a very poor touch. And it's it's the touch of champions, really. Um, champions a game early. And, you know, so, somebody already thinking about their holiday and how many pina coladas they're going to have over the summer. <laughs> it's a good ball forward. Link it. Oh, yeah. 
Hughes with the, the tackle there, Robert Briggs with a, a good ball, but Moore can't get there. And to be fair, other than the excellent goal Moore scored earlier on, he hasn't done a lot more, and it's 4-3 now to Northampton Town. I think they are probably going to win this. I'm just very glad that we managed to get over the line because had we not, um, we would have been cacking our pants right now. Here's Hargreaves. Oh, excellent ball to Kuya, who keeps it in. Here's Whitaker. finds Lefudu now. Lefudu to Kuya. Whitaker again. Hargreaves to Robert Briggs. It's Nalo. Oh, it's a poor pass, and this could be 5-3 here. Which I feel like would be pretty undeserved on the whole. Nalo. Now here's Whitaker. Still going. Oh, come on, man. What you doing? Howie, come on! Howie, South Shields. What you doing? A daily forward to Lintop. What's going on? Oh my god! Oh, this is so frustrating. <laughs> this is so, so frustrating. <sighs> right. Very attacking. Berate the boys. And annoyingly, we've had the better XG. Well, luckily, we didn't need to win. Well, we didn't need to win either game, um, apparently. But there it is. We are champions. Um, I, I said to you, didn't I? The football manager will not let you win the, the last game of the season if... Um, if you've won it a game early, they just, it, it, it's one of the curses. It really is. Um, South Shields have been given 25,000 for achieving first place. Uh, Miller's impressed by love. Okay. Uh, promotion joy for Bradford City. Cool. Right. Let's uh, continue on until we get to, oh, that was our record attendance. 5,079. Awesome. Cool. Um, Let's keep going until we get to squad re review day or season review day. And that's, of course, when things will change. We have uh, been allowed more coaching staff, which is good. More scouts. Mm, very nice. Very nice. Right. Keep going. Let's see. Seven trials finish. I'm assuming we're going to get this uh, season review very close. Uh, th this is going to be our first sign of the summer, by the way. Adam Edgar. Uh, he's a decent EFL League 2 player already. Potentially um, championship standard. And he is a left back. So I'm looking forward to seeing what, what he's made of. He's going to be coming in from, uh, Man uh, from Arsenal. And we've had some good success in general. Uh, Adam Forshaw and Jack Colback are going to be retiring very, very soon. Uh, oh, Chris Giles. Chris Giles is joining. Now, <laughs> those of you that remember the journeyman last year might remember Chris Giles um, from our Fulham days. It's funny how these things happen. Isn't it? But yes, he's a, another signing we've brought in. He's only on £375 per week. Uh, so shouldn't really cost us a lot of money. Anyway, what are they going to be expecting next season? Attempt to avoid relegation. So we're back to that, uh, which is interesting. And then just attempt to avoid relegation in general going forward. That sounds good. Um, we might actually struggle. Uh, we need coaching badges and quick. Um, they will not give me a coaching badge, no matter what. Uh, I'm a little bit worried that I'm going to not be allowed to, to manage them in the Premier League, <laughs> which would be annoying. Uh, but it is what it is. Right, let's have a quick chat with the, the team. Um... Yeah, I have nothing to say. Let's let's not rock the boat too much. Let's keep going. We're we're still not getting to the the the, the season review, which uh, is really weird. 
but I'm fine by that. Do we give Ethan Moore another contract? Or is he just going to clog up squad space, realistically? Because he's not going to improve too much, is he? We'll just thank him for the memories, I think. Same with Joe Coleman. You know, we don't want to do a lot based on just nostalgia. Um, I think we need to be very, very careful with that. Uh, I don't really know why it's taking so long to get to the this end of season review, but maybe we'll just uh, wrap it up there anyway, because uh, not a lot is, is happening um, between sort of episodes. Uh, but I will be back tomorrow. Uh, I'll play up to the, the season review. We'll start with that uh, in tomorrow's episode. And we've got to try and put together a squad that is capable of staying in League One. Um, I, I keep saying this, but I don't think we're going to go and win the league next season. Uh, I don't think we're going to get promoted. I think it is going to be where we're, we're stuck for a couple of years, and that's absolutely fine. I'm all for that. Um, I want to start building a team now. It's it's not about getting a team for the here and now. We need to start building this golden generation. You know, the, there's lots of players in the the development centre that can, and and hopefully will go on and do some really special things for this club. But fingers crossed. Hey, anyway, we've won League Two. Bit of a damp squib uh, final uh, match of the, the season. But uh, overall, we did amazing. We got the job done. So if you have enjoyed it, give it a massive a thumbs up down below. Subscribe for daily Football Manager videos. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.